3.30 a.m. right now. I just bought a bike and then here I am gonna take a 400 kilometer trip. I don't even know. I have my riding jacket on. Yeah, I think it's time for me to go. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna do it. So, welcome to my channel. So I just made a crazy bike trip and I want to talk to you about it. So I drove 450 kilometers on a bike. But let me tell you about what actually happened. So I started off from home about like 4.30 in the morning. I started driving across Bangalore and I, oh my God. Bangalore, why do you have messed up roads? Like seriously, why? I drove from Henur all the way through Koramangala and Madiwala and out. I had like six to seven different random potholes that gave my back a lovely time. Yeah, yeah going and then blue going and blue blue I'm like ah it made me regret you know making a whole bike trip but then you know what I said screw it Sam you've already started it finish it like a man all the way to Hosur which was like a nice ride I actually had a good time I went on the electricity flyover oh haha ha. ah just to make matters worse I was told by everyone get a nice windshield on your Bajaj Avenger which is gonna make your life easier but guess what happened no 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 it made my life much worse because apparently the windshield, oh yeah, information for you, your windshield should be the tip of your nose. The level should be equal. Mine was all the way down here. It was hell. It literally took all the air coming around the bike straight at my face. My helmet was going like So when I'm going about 60, like all the air is in my face. I could not even focus straight. Like I can't, I, could, I couldn't even see anything. So I passed Hosur. When I come close to Hosur, there's about like, that much of water on the roads like that much of water like i was like whoa okay well in a car i would probably just splash by and go by but i'm on a bike now what's gonna happen am i gonna go skid is it gonna be another beautiful pothole waiting for me there i don't know so i said you know what screw it let's just go and there was a truck going there and he splashed water all over me and driving by like <laughs> you know there and then there and then like water flashing everywhere and then it was raining too and i was just like oh my god this is crazy what are you doing sam but then I'm doing what I'm doing, so I kept going. Okay, well, made my first stop right here. Mm -hmm. Of course. Tired. Well, so this is how I look. I think it passed about 120 kilometers, and I did that in like one hour, 10 minutes. Mm. This tea is so good. So, guess what? I got splashed like crazy. Because somewhere in the middle, there was like uh, heavy rain, so they had like one feet of water in there. A truck just smashed so much water on me. I'm drenched. But then I was like, oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. Mm. Oh, this tea is so good. Get back on the road soon. Look who's also excited to come say hello. Huh? It sucks that I don't have a GoPro. I mean, it's would been amazing footage if I just had a GoPro. The sun is slowly starting to show up. I think it's a good time for me to go. The tea was good. I kept moving. Then I said, oh, poof, I'm done with that. I get a little closer to Salem. And guess what? It just raining and raining and raining and raining the entire way. The entire way. I was driving about 250 kilometers in rain. It kept raining and then the rain would be like slight, heavy, normal, normal, heavy, 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 heavy. So I kept driving through all that rain. So my jacket was wet, my gloves were wet, everything was wet. Oh my God, just made a stop to get some fuel over here. The fuel is actually pretty cheaper over here. I'm going to be taking a view of what I've actually had there. We already made another stop to fuel up over here. Check out the climate I'm actually driving in. Look at that. It's actually raining and oh my god. Check all of that stuff out. My iPhone was mounted right there. iPhone X, you are not waterproof. You are not waterproof. So right now I'm using an iPhone X without Face ID because Face ID decided not to work. Uh, There's my bike and it's raining the entire way and I'm still driving in the rain. Oh my god. Um, there we go. I swear to God, my shoes are full of water. If I even change color, it became bluish. I should probably try and take it out to see how much of water there is in there. Uh, that's, that's weird. My black shoes turned blue for some reason. I don't even know why. Okay, well, time for me to go. I'm gonna go closer to the zero meter and you're gonna see the wind noise changes. But the minute I pull back, you're gonna know exactly how much of wind was hitting my helmet. You 
see what I mean? Yeah, that was that was tough to deal with. Oh my god, alright, made my next stop. Check this beautiful place out. Pretty crazy ride so far. Made my next stop. I'm gonna have some tea and coffee right now. Whew, this helmet and this stuff is killing me. And this is a typical tea shop right now. Oh here I am having some really local tea right now in this really tiny shop. Pretty interesting for the morning. Look at that. It has some various colors in there. Yeah, pretty good. Mm. We have this dude just checking out my bike. <laughs> Look at that. Totally totally just checking it out. Like, what bike is this? I've never seen this around here. He's done? Oh, no, he's still checking out. Oh, yeah. Proper checkout break. Few moments later. Five minutes later. I have another only 20 more kilometers to go, I think, and then I'm done. And I'll be I'll be home. I'm gonna surprise mom and dad. Should be home soon. Very excited. It was a fun ride. I don't feel tired at all actually. A little longer than a few minutes later. So I never told mom and dad that I'm actually coming by bike and they thought I'm coming by an overnight bus. But then look at mom's reaction when she finds out that was actually me sitting there all suited up in a bike. <laughs> And that's when the realization hit. That was priceless. <laughs> but after I had a good brief stay at home, then I went back and made my trip back to Bangalore. And then this is the rest of the clips from then. One week later. Yeah, you see how there's no windshield anymore? Yeah, I threw that at home. No thank you. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, well, I made my first stop. Uh, 7.24. Okay, so since I don't have the windshield anymore, I got a new problem. <laughs> Check this out. I've been driving there. I had dragonflies fly inside my jacket. Check that out. I'm not even kidding you. That literally got stuck in my jacket. Bike spot there. I just had a cup of tea. Just gonna finish and I'm gonna move to Salem next. Gonna be meeting a friend over there. So let's see how that goes. One hour later. So I made a stop for breakfast and check this out. When you don't have a windshield, this is exactly what you're gonna be hitting on the way. All throughout the way, check that out. <laughs> okay, well, I made a stop in Salem and guess who I'm with? Hi. Say hi to Amy. And she's like my. Uh, you know, favorite person in Salem. But she's an amazing makeup artist. Just on a side note, Amy took me to this great, amazing street food in Salem. Check it out. The video's in the top right corner. Click it and check it out. And an amazing dancer too. Just time for me to put that helmet yeah. back on. Bye. And okay. Um, yep. She hit my head. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, well, time for me to go, so I'm gonna go from Salem now. But we're gonna have a, a quick Yerkad trip soon. Yes, right? very soon. Yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna make another trip to Yerkad, and that's right on here with this beautiful person. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna put my stuff back on and hit the road. Just like Jack did. Two hours later. Okay, made another stop again for a nice cup of coffee this time. So I met another biker on the way. When I say I met him, it's more like he was passing by and I overtook him. He was a dominar, you know, the 400cc bike. So I overtook him twice. He kind of showed his dominance once, but then I gave him a thumbs up. He gave me a thumbs up and I thought he would stop here, but he didn't actually, he just came by. So that sucks, but yeah, I'm gonna have my coffee. Another 99 kilometers left to Bangalore. I'll be home soon. Much, much, much later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. really nice local biryani right there. Look at that. I'm gonna go straight there and check that out. 
I made my stuff and there is nice biryani served by this person. <laughs> <laughs> and 40 more kilometers to go so yeah it's gonna be fun um, almost done with the whole trip so back to traffic as usual so yeah let's do this three hours later can you move it along I'm all out of time cards oh <sighs> finally finally done about 900 kilometers or even more yep finally back home finally back home Whew. that was quite a trip there she is all good all done 900 kilometers done